Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for January 23rd, 2020. So today we have Morganite relationship healing. And what's really funny as I record this, I have Morganite earrings on and I felt very compelled to wear them. As a matter of fact, I was reaching for my little little bird earrings. I was like, oh, this is super cute. And I was like, nope, I got to have the Morganite. I don't know why, but here we go. And here's the card. <laughs> so relationship healing, let's get into it. When we talk about healing, this isn't just healing from the person, the people that broke your heart the most. This might be relationship healing with how you, your relationship with yourself. You know, how do you view yourself? And be honest. Now, if you're somebody who's constantly like, I have a very healthy sense of self-esteem. I have many accomplishments. I have done this and this and this and this. Pay attention to your stomach. Are you making yourself sick? Are you twisting your own gut? Why? Because one, you might be coming from a very egotistical place and you're imbalanced. Or you're telling yourself a lie. Maybe you really don't feel those things about yourself. We have this whole theme this week of healing because we do need to do that. The way that we can serve, one way we can serve is by being in our purest and most authentic energy and working on ourselves and putting that light out into the universe, okay? That's what we're being called to do right now. So this Morganite relationship healing card doesn't necessarily have to do with another person. It could, but you have to start with you and, and what you tell yourself and how you show up in this world, <laughs> right? Um, what, what do you, yeah, hold on. I'm just listening here for a second. What do you do in relationships? Yeah, whether they're friendships, you know, family relationships, romantic partnerships, you know, um, are you very disconnected? Do you keep, a pe keep people at arm's length? I, I see this all the time when I meet people. I'm a very open, loving, compassionate person. And one of two things sometimes happens. Either people take advantage of that and they cling on to me or they get a little scared. And they back up because there's something they can't figure out about me. And I see it. I see it all the time. If we were all to just take a moment and do some relationship healing with ourselves, we wouldn't get scared when someone nice comes along, <laughs> right? We wouldn't get suspicious and go, why are you so nice? Why are you so warm and caring? What, what is that, right? Now, some of you out there, you might see me as prickly, but you don't really know me right? <laughs> you don't, you just know when I'm trying to work and do my job. And sometimes, you know, I'll see how things go in the future, but sometimes that's how I have to put things, right? So see where you can make improvements about how well you love yourself and how well you can show up in a dynamic with another. Okay. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I am sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.